Hi everybody, welcome to Dandelion Cottage. I'm Leslie Watkins and today is Paper Crafting Saturday. So the earlier last week or this beginning of this current week, the new catalogs went live and I'm talking about the Stampin' Up! catalogs. And this is what it looks like. And today I want to bring a particular suite to your attention, which is the Dandy Garden Suite. And the reason I like this one is because, first of all, it has dandelions in it. So who doesn't love dandelions, right? And it has this wonderful designer series paper in this terrific palette of colors. So if you, when you get your catalog, when you see a little box like this that has a strip of the different colors in it, that tells you what colors coordinate with the DSP or the designer series paper. And this is a, um, a big suite. So oftentimes a suite will have a stamp set and maybe some dies or a punch. This one actually has two. So there is the, let's see what that's called. This is the Garden Wishes Bundle. And I can show you what that looks like. So it's this stamp set that features all these beautiful dandelions. And it comes with these dies when you get it in a bundle. When you bundle the two things together, you also save 10%. So that's the Garden Wishes and the Dandy Wishes dies. And then the second suite is the one that I'm going to be working with today, is the Dandy Garden stamp set, which has these wonderful dragonflies. And this one is bundled with a punch. So this is called the Dragonflies Punch, and there is a large dragonfly and a little one. And then you have your choice of all of these other things. If you, if you get the entire suite, you get everything that's on this page, or you can go a la carte and just get the things that you want. I recommend at least go for the bundle, one of the bundles, because that way you do get that extra 10% off. So if we turn the page here, you can see that on this side of the page, we have the Garden Wishes set with some examples of the things that you can do with it. And on this one, you have the Dragonfly Garden set. All right, so the, the catalog also provides you with plenty of inspiration and ideas of how you might want to get started. When you buy $50 of products, you also are entitled to a free product. And this is a special that only happens January 5th through February 28th during the promotion called Celebration. And this little brochure contains all of the different items that you can get for free. So if you read here, you'll see free with a $50 purchase free with a, a $50 purchase and the whole book is just jam-packed with stuff so these are these are other things and then they're on on some of the items for instance this one you can get both a stamp set and the papers for a hundred dollar purchase so if you'd like to look at these things more carefully let me know that you'd like some catalogs and I'd be happy to send them to you. And the way you do that is by going to my website at dandeliancottagedesign.com and go to the uh, tab where it says notes. And when you sign up for notes, which is my newsletter, and that's completely free. It comes to you at the beginning of each month and it just lists all of the classes that I have that are offered for that particular month, 
you'll find an option for catalogs. And I'm going to post that link below too, so you can just click on that link. So today I want to show you just basic card making. I've got my trimmer here and I've selected some papers. So I've got some white card stock for my card base. I've got a, a piece of Misty Moonlight card stock and this measures four inches by five and a quarter. And then I've got a selection of some of the designer series paper out of that, that pack that I showed you. And, um, and I just wanted the Misty Moonlight because to keep things simple today, I'm just going to do a quick monochromatic demonstration of how you can put a very simple card together and get very elegant and professional looking results. It's really easy. So the first thing I'm going to do is to cut down my card base. Now, I think in this instance, I want the top of the card to, to be hinged, so a tent fold card. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to score the top. So if I put this at five and a half, that's the middle of the paper, and I just use this lighter colored tab I can make a score line and then flip it around a quarter turn and then I'm going to cut it at four and a quarter and that's going to give me two card bases and that score line is going to give me a nice crisp fold. Now this piece of Misty Moonlight is going to be my mat. So that's going to be adhered to the top of my card base with a little bit of a border showing through. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do that now. And everything that you see me using here, the trimmer, the bone folder, the liquid glue, these are what I consider really essential tools and if you're a beginner you can get these tools in a, uh, a recommended set that I will also post below and these are just a few things that I think that will really help to make your your projects go much easier okay so there's our the front of our card with our first layer and the next thing I want to do is, because this paper is so pretty, I want to create a layered effect. I think I want this one on the top, maybe. That looks really nice. It's tough to make a decision, as you can see. going to go with this one this time. So what I'm going to do is simply cut down the layers just a quarter inch smaller than the previous layer. So this one would be three and three quarters. So that'll give us a reveal that looks something like that. I'm going to cut this down to five. All right, and now this one, I think I want to have a little bit more of that second layer showing. So this time I'm going to jump by half an inch. So instead of it being three and a half. I'm going to make it three and a quarter here. And four and a half. Here we 
go. And I'm going to save all these scraps because these can be used for other projects. I'm going to go ahead and get these placed on the card. There's a little bit of an optical illusion going on here with the stripes. All right, so putting the, the layers onto the base is just that easy. And now we're ready for the decorations and the sentiment. So, I'm going to want one of these dragonflies, and I think we'll use thank you for your kindness. I've got some scrap paper here of the white card stop, and I have a stamp pad or an ink pad of Misty Moonlight, which is the exact color that we've been using so far. And I'm going to grab a, a block and I'm going to use this dragonfly with the filled in body. if I can fit two on here. Probably not. Okay. All right, so there's my dragonfly, and then I need another stamp, and this is going to be for the sentiment. So I'm going to use the thank you. And another block and that's our stamping done that easy all right so let's punch our dragonfly out There it is, very cute. And I'm going to bring in another punch, and this is from the annual catalog. This is, we also have a great big catalog that has everything in it. And in it, we have quite a selection of punches. This one is called the Timeless Label Punch, so I'm just gonna get that nice and straight. And that's the punching done. And it's gonna to come together very fast now. Actually, before I put the dragonfly stamp away, I think I wanna decorate my envelope flap as well. And I'm just gonna line that up. And while I'm at it, I'm going to add another one 
inside the card too. Here we go. Now before I put my dragonfly on the card, I want to give him a little extra sparkle. So I'm using my Wink of Stella. And I'm just going to add a little bit of iridescence. I'm going to put that all over. Let's see if you can see that on the camera. A little bit. You see it's picking up the light. Maybe if I add more you can see it better. This dries very quickly, so if you want to add more than one coat of sparkle, you can do that. I think you can see that. I'm just going to bend up its wings so it has a little more dimension. All right, now I have in front of me here some, some dimensionals. And let me see if I can find my mini dimensionals. Those are black. All right, so here's some, I'm grabbing some mini dimensionals for the dragonfly. And actually what I've done is I've already cut out some tiny strips. So you'll see along the edge of the package here, I just trimmed some long narrow strips. So I'm gonna use one of those for the tail of the dragonfly. And another one near the head. And it's good to go. And then I'm going to take two of my, let's see if I've got one opened already. It doesn't look like it. So here I'm going to get two of these dimensionals to pop up my sentiment. So I'm just going to get that label on there. Peel off the backing, my dragonfly. And let's see, I just want a little bit of that to overlap the label. Okay, so that's our card. It's just that easy. So this is an introduction to paper crafting, just to show you the very basic tools that you can use. So if you're looking for a place to start, I would say a bone folder some paper snips, some glue, and uh, your basic paper, a couple of stamps, and you are ready to make as many cards as you would like. So I hope you found that helpful. If you'd like to learn more, please go to dandeliancottagedesign.com and let me know if you'd like to get a copy of my newsletter sent to you. Today is the last day to register for classes and if you're interested in joining me in one of my beginning classes for either watercolor or paper crafting, I'd love to have you. And when you get your copy of notes, you'll be able to see all of the various listings. So that's all for today. Stay well, stay happy, and stay creative, 
and I will see you next time.